Hey, how's it going, you guys? Um, yeah, so I haven't shown any food today because, like I said yesterday, I am going to fast today. Um, time is 2.40 p.m., and um, I'm not really hungry at all, which I was actually kind of thinking that I would be hungry because uh, typically when I eat sugar or carbs, I think I get that sugar spike, and then the drop makes me pretty hungry. But uh, earlier today, around breakfast time, I was craving food just out of the habit, I think. Um, but, like, right now I feel fine. Like, I don't have any hunger pangs at all. So, um, yeah. Uh, fast is going well. And I'm going to plan to fast for the rest of the day. I need to drink some more water. Um, but... Uh, later soon I'm going to meet someone at a cafe to discuss some plans we came up with. Someone from improv class. Um, so there's probably going to be some t food temptations there. But I looked at the menu beforehand and I see that they have seltzer water as a drink option. Um, I don't know if it's made there or if it's just like canned seltzer water but at least they have some sort of option that you know I can order something because I hate to we wanted to find a spot to just like meet and talk about this idea and um, it's difficult to do you know if you've ever heard of a third place I guess I'll talk about this like your first place is typically work your second no sorry your first place is home Second place is work, then your third place is like a place, if you've ever seen Friends, it's like Central Park, Central Perk, where you just go there to socialize with friends and other people that, strangers you've uh, never met. So, um, anyway, that third place can be kind of difficult to have nowadays, unless it's like a library or a rec center, which I don't really... I go to the rec center and work out, but I don't really want to go there to, uh, you know, socialize with someone. But anyway, trying to do that is difficult, but it's nice when places like this have some no sugar options um, to where you can still purchase something and not feel awkward, like just sitting there kind of loitering in the establishment you can actually buy something um so it's nice when they have options like that you know just like a fancier type of water so anyways uh and after that i got an improv class at five um and then not much else is planned for today luckily because i kind of feel like doing nothing and kind of relaxing um I got some chicken thighs in the fridge. They're most likely defrosted by now, but uh, I'll have those tomorrow. Uh, I think that's all I really have in the fridge, so I don't know what I'll do for breakfast. Maybe I'll just do some scrambled eggs. I've been thinking that, uh, I don't know, I've been using this cast iron pan, and uh, it's great for steaks and other, it's great for any type of meat. I like how it kind of caramelizes food and creates that crust on food. But not the best for eggs. Um, I mean, if the pan's hot enough and there's grease in the pan, the eggs don't stick too bad. But uh, they cook too fast, cook too hard. I mean, I guess I could maybe do the eggs first over a low heat. It might work out better, but... I don't know, for eggs, I kind of like the non-stick pans more than these cast iron pans. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I was just thinking, I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow, but um, I'm going to probably start using my non-stick pan to make eggs. I kind of miss just uh, scrambled eggs, like usually the way I make scrambled eggs, I'll cook them lightly, like over a medium... I don't know, a little less than a medium heat, and uh, I won't cook them too long either. Like, I'll still leave them pretty wet. Um, that's how I like the eggs. So, uh, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow for breakfast I can, like, saute some banana peppers and eggs. 
with perhaps a little bit of mayo, avocado mayo. It makes a pretty good breakfast. And it's still pretty carnivore friendly, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready. And um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make another video after the improv class tonight. We'll see. All right. I'll talk to you all later. That bodega in St. Pete. I got a pork salad.